so this is a uh, cam phaser basically so your variable valve timing uh, on the, some of the LS motors uh, from GM uh, so basically this is a vari variable valve timing cam phaser and depending on where you're at in the in the uh, as far as the load on the engine what the computer sensing this will actually advance and retard uh, the cam timing uh, based off of a big spring that's coiled up inside this phaser here. Um, now comp cams change out doesn't totally eliminate that, but actually uses it for a better purpose, if you will, not so much as efficiency as being able to kind of add some more advance to the timing um, where it needs it. So building more power and still being able to adjust that camshaft because you can get a lot more performance gain uh, and efficiency out of being able to uh, adjust the cam timing um, without having to change the cam profile. Um, so that's basically what this does. Now, to basically make that change, we're gonna lock it down from being a big adjustment, say 50 degrees, down to maybe 20 degrees of adjustment in there. Um, and we do that by this little block off plate here, but we have to get in there to do it. Well, this is a safety bolt here. It actually comes in there in their uh, phaser kit. So. The comp cams phaser kit is a uh, 5456 is the is the uh, product number um, and basically comes with this little tool here comes with that block off bolt which again keeps that that phaser from just coming all to pieces um, this little temporary lock tool and then this is the kind of the permanent um, phaser block that will slide in there in just a moment um, and then even a Torx bit to actually take the Torx bolts out of here. But what we're going to do here, we've got our safety bolt in here. Again, that's going to keep that cam phaser from just coming all and uh, unsprung, if you will. Um, this is a pin bolt here. Uh, and you can see actually where the white mark is, which I think is our timing mark as well. But you see the pin goes all the way through there. And so that's the pin bolt. In other words, that's holding the spring. So that's the coiled up spring that you can see against that. So basically this pin bolt, that's holding that spring. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this tool to uh, rotate that phaser spring and put a lock right here, this little temporary lock, to hold it in place until we can actually rotate this out of the way, put the permanent block in there and get our safety bolt back in and everything. You'll see as we go through here. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, this is gonna be our pivot bolt. So this is our pin bolt with a pin that goes all the way through. We're gonna take that out in a moment, but right now, I'm just going to loosen this one a half a turn. Now what that's going to do, that's going to be our pivot part. So we're going to take this loose and actually pivot that out of the way. But the first thing we're going to do, take our 3 8 ratchet or pull bar or whatever, um, put that on there. This little notch right here is going to hook to the pin. Actually not to the pin, it's going to hook to the spring, as you can see here. You see it's hooked to the spring and I can pull that spring away from the pin bolt. And so now as I do that, I'm going to take this little lock here, slide it in. Now you can see where I placed that lock. See that? Or just fell out. I'm gonna put it back. Sorry for the camera. And you can see there's a long side and a short side. Same way, there's an elongated hole and a short hole. So not you're not gonna mess it up. If anybody can, I will. Okay, so now that's locked in. Now we've got a lock, our lock in place. See it from this side. See our lock is in place. Now we can take that pin bolt out because it's no longer holding that spring. Our little safety lock is holding that spring. Again, sorry for the jerkiness of the uh, camera guy. Take out all our bolts. Again, we're leaving this one.
Take out our safety bolt. Cross your fingers. Say a little prayer. If that thing comes unsprung, I think there's a there's a a video online showing one come undone. So anyway, we're gonna try to stay away from that. Oh, let, let's let the uh, let the oil out. I'm gonna slide our cam block in there, or our phaser block. So we've got our cam limiter block back in there. Now we can fold that back over. Put our pin bolt in. So remember where our pin bolt goes a little longer than the others. Check. We put our safety bolt back in. Now that we've got our, our pin bolt back in, so our pin bolt is back in, and so now We've got something to hold that spring to rest against. Pull the spring back, pull the lock out of there, and then ease that back against the pin bolt. And there you have it. So now the cam phaser is complete. When you're ready to put it back on the motor, take the safety bolt out slide your bolt back in there and uh, put it on the camshaft. So there you have it, that's the Comp Cams Cam Phaser Kit. So making better use of that variable valve timing.